Join me in the mountains for a little hike, a watercolor sketch, and some encouragement from God's Word. Job 38.12 asks, Have you ever in your life commanded the morning, caused the dawn to know its place? Each morning is a gift from God. My travel sketchbook is almost full. I've shared most of these over the past year, but let me know in the comments if you guys would be interested in a full sketchbook tour once it's complete. Ecclesiastes 11.6 says, Sow your seed in the morning, and do not be idle in the evening, for you do not know whether morning or evening sowing will succeed or whether both of them alike will be good. This verse has been on my mind lately. As I'm seeking to walk in wisdom and make the most of my time, even though I feel like I'm so busy, I have no time. You showing me your stuff? Yeah. Oh, so pretty. Good job. And I I made it for you as a notebook. For my notebook? Thank you, it looks so pretty. I'm gonna put it right here, okay? Are you gonna go play a little bit while I do mine? But they're next thing to play on. Oh, you can play on that. Ugh. I'm usually a morning person. I like to get up with the sun, but with shorter daylight hours in the fall, I've been barely getting my kids to school on time and starting my day behind. So as I was thinking about mornings and how to get back to doing them well, I spent a bit of time looking in the Bible at what God's Word says about mornings. I just did a simple search and looked at all the verses where the word morning was found. I'm going to share a few that stuck out to me with you today. In Mark 1.35, it says, In the early morning, while it was still dark, Jesus got up, left, and went away to a secluded place and was praying there. This verse felt especially relevant to my question of how do I get up in the morning when it's still dark? Because right there we see Jesus getting up in the early morning while it was still dark. But he didn't get up early to wash dishes or speak to people. He got up early so that he could step away and start his day with prayer. Psalm 92 verses 1 and 2 say, It is good to give thanks to the Lord and to sing praises to your name, O Most High, to declare your loving kindness in the morning and your faithfulness by night. And in Psalms 143, verse 8, it says, As a prayer to God, let me hear your loving kindness in the morning, for I trust in you. Teach me the way in which I should walk, for to you I lift up my soul. This picture of God's loving kindness in the morning really stuck out to me. I think in the morning, we really need to remember His loving kindness. No matter what happened the day before, each day is a new day. God is gracious and kind. And as I'm seeking to follow, his example, I want to walk in love this day. Just as God loved me, I want to love those around me. But also there's this full picture, God's loving kindness in the morning, but also his faithfulness at night. In the morning, we can be encouraged to start again. And in the evening, no matter what went on that day, whether or not I 
was faithful to everything I said I would do, I intended to do. God is always faithful. He never lets me down. No matter what I have done, it is His faithfulness that I can rest on, that I can trust. And if I put God first, if I can start my day with prayer and the right perspective, I can trust that God will lead me. He will show me the way that I should walk each day. So starting in the morning with prayer and then doing what I can. Going back to the verse in Ecclesiastes where it said, Sow your seed in the morning and do not be idle in the evening, for you do not know whether morning or evening sowing will succeed or whether both of them alike will be good. I often will try to get things done in the morning, but by evening, I figure, well, (laughs) whatever I didn't get done, we'll have to wait till tomorrow. But I do think that I have been ignoring some potentially productive hours in the evening. And since I do have a lot of projects that I want to do, I'm going to have to make the most of both my morning and my evening. As I'm looking ahead to next month, November, I often like to spend November working on writing projects. They're fun and cozy, and after a busy October, I like to take some time to be creative in a different way. Ecclesiastes 12 verse 10 we see that the author of Ecclesiastes sought to find delightful words and to write words of truth correctly. And that idea of taking the time to write things that are delightful and beautiful and true has always been a goal of mine. I would love to someday publish a novel, maybe some children's stories. And so I have a few ideas in mind, but I don't want to this year put aside all of my other projects and only focus on my writing. I'm hoping that I can do a little bit of one in the morning and then also in the evening. I don't know if anything will come of my writing. Maybe both will be good. Maybe nothing will come of it but a little bit of fun. But if you are interested in hearing about the things that I'm writing, the writing projects that I'm doing, I'm hoping to share a few writing videos on this channel. I'm not going to stop doing my art or Faith Friday, but I just want to play around a little bit with some different projects. So if you're interested in hearing more about my writing, feel free to stick around, subscribe so that you see if I'm able to do any extra videos. But while I'm also going to be doing writing in November, I'm planning on doing some more painting, some different kinds of painting that I haven't shared with you guys much. I'm hoping to paint some ornaments and necklaces, possibly for selling at craft fairs, for gifts for people for Christmas. And so I'm excited to do some different things. And I'm praying that God will give me the wisdom so that I will know how best to use my time as I'm working on these different projects. So you can keep your eye out for some new things, hopefully, to be shared in the next couple of months. And as always, remember to walk in love, walk in light, walk in wisdom, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.